I'm such that fire for you I ain't do that three, four times to get night test the fire for you I'm told I like you, that bitch I do it all And I'm on fire, let's get it done Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing this Salon Extend LED Soft Gel System Starter Kit. I want to go ahead and show you guys how I do my nails at home really easy, really quickly. And honestly, this is going to be less than $25. Can't beat that. Here I'm going to be starting off with these ugh, ugly, dull nails. I'm going to go ahead and trim those down. I want to get them all nice and even and I don't want any excess nail because sometimes when you have excess nail and it's grown out it can be a, a hell of a pain to get it off so I always want to start off by trimming my nails down. Let's see what's inside. We got our USB power cord, prep pad for prepping our nails, and <laughs> of course we have the kit here itself. It comes with the nails. They're all packed in here. This is just some samples. I guess they were just showing us what they look like. And here is the LED curing lamp. I think this is so cool that they give you one inside of the kit. All together, you can reuse this so many times. As you can see, it does come with a USB-C adapter cord for the back. So it does need to be plugged in. Um, the cord is actually pretty long, so I do like that. And then lastly, you've got your gel adhesive and your nails. The nails actually do come numbered and they feel pretty sturdy, pretty heavy duty. All right, so now that I have all my nails laid out, I did go ahead and pre picked them already just to save you guys some time I'm gonna go ahead and take apart my prep kit my prep pad I did take some time this time you guys to actually go ahead and read the instructions on how to apply the steps on how to do it what order I need to do them in and how to use the kit um, you know as it should be used just so I don't mess up anything normally I do like to just look at things and think I know what I'm doing but <laughs> here I went on ahead and actually took it step by step so at first I'm you know you saw me push my cuticles back and then I'm going to go ahead and wipe off all the oil off of all of my nails all at once <clears throat> some people may do this one at a time but I wanted to do it all at once and then I want to go ahead and show you guys about how much I'm putting on here now it says you're supposed to place the glue inside of the little number area I don't know if you guys can see that but there's a little area that is numbered and has a small little square around it <clears throat> and I just put the glue on there pressed it from cuticle to end and hold it up underneath the lamp for a couple seconds about five to seven seconds and this is pretty much what it looks like so cute now, I did start off by doing all of my nails this way. I just filed them down. I chose my nail. They were already pre, you know, pre-chosen already. So I already had those set up and ready. I went out ahead and applied the glue to the nail, which is, <clears throat> you really don't need a lot. Um, I did one nail and I did kind of put a little bit too much. And it does say if you do that, just, you know, just wipe it off, clean it off, clean off the excess off your skin. And then go ahead and recure it again. So the steps were pretty self-explanatory. After I did the first like three or four nails, it was pretty easy going from there. So you know, as I'm just doing, I'm just going to be doing the same thing over and over again. With this little filer that comes with the kit is literally like the most coarse, I guess you would call it, or it's like really rough so i didn't have to use much pressure at all as you can see i have <laughs> i'm filing a lot of my nail off and i went on ahead as you can see the little circle there this is the one i think i used a little bit too much yeah it was way too much glue and i ended up having to clean some of it off before i went on ahead and finished curing it however it did not affect the end result application so just keep in mind if you do use this at home you do not need a lot and you do not need to scrub that hard when it comes to this filing because you will file literally almost all of your nail off i 
do like how easy and simple it is to use the lamp. Um, you literally just put your finger underneath there. It does have a one minute timer, so if you do leave your finger underneath there for a full minute, it will shut off after one minute, which I think is pretty cool. Because I was trying to figure out <laughs> how I was going to time one minute, because it says you have to cure for five to seven seconds, and then go back in and recure for another one to two minutes. So instead of me having to use a timer, I did just go ahead and use the automatic lamp turn off sensor indicator <laughs> and then i'm gonna go ahead and just finish off my second hand my other hand was a lot easier to do than my first hand so i really did this one pretty quickly um i didn't want to bore you guys with the same results or same pattern over and over again so like i did the other nail file it down put the glue on the nail press it down from cuticle to end cuticle to tip and cure for five to seven seconds and then at the end, I went back through and did every single finger for one minute to like a minute and a half. And that's pretty much the whole process. I really been trying to take a break from going to the nail salon so much just because I was having some really bad experiences with them just filing my nails down too much and like even when I would soak them off and take a break for a couple of days, you could see the ridges inside of my nail beds and it was just like a lot on my nails. So I switched to doing press-ons for a while. So me using this Kiss brand is not like, I'm not a stranger to it at all. If you guys saw my um, other videos, my vlog, I did use some press-on nails from the same brand and they kind of look very similar, but these ones I like more because they're like more sturdy in the curing process that I'm doing. I feel like they're going to stay on twice as long. Now these are set to, st to last for two weeks and from how the application went, I think, I think we're going to make it. Alright, so now I'm going to actually go ahead, as you can see how the tips, they have these little things on the end. I think this is just from when the manufacturer made the nails. I'm just going to take my nail file and just file that all off of there. And I think this is going to also give me a better, cleaner look because I can sharpen the ends a little bit more. Not, It's not going to be too much of a difference, but you know, it still looks a little bit more cleaner. And they don't look as fake because they don't have that little little thing sticking off of it and this is what they look like this is my first hand go ahead and shave them all down on my other hand So now that I am finally finished, I do have a little bit of dust and like file on my nail. I'm going to just clean it off with this alcohol pad. I actually took the same alcohol prep pad that came with the kit and I added some more alcohol from the bottle of alcohol I have. And this is what it looks like. I did oil my hands just a little bit, you know. I think they came out really cute, really simple, really easy. It took less than 30 minutes. Now I did get this kit from Target, y'all. So if y'all want to go check it out, your local Targets, um, they may have it at other um, department stores and stuff like that. But I did pick this one up specifically from Target, less than twenty-five dollars. Guys, gotta go grab it. I swear it's gonna be a game changer in your nail life, and you can reuse this lamp as many times as you need. You can replace the nails as many times as you need, and get the same type of results <laughs> with ten times the speed, half the time. Than if you go to a nail salon so yeah if you guys like this video go ahead and like comment and subscribe and i hope to see you guys on my next one i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one peace out